Hello, I'm Jamie. And this is Barry. Now make sure you hang around to the end of this video because we'll be talking about Bucket List, our brand new cookbook. So if you're new here, this is how it works. Today we're joined by James, who is a qualified chef, and Jamie, who, well, he's not. We have been shopping on the interwebs and found some potentially delicious, potentially pretentious ingredients, and we're gonna see if we can wind them up with them. That was, that was tricky to say. I'm looking forward to this. I could eat. Spin round. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> That's not an ingredient. My secco. Oh god. Interesting. Welcome to the world's first make your own single bottle of Prosecco. This is my secco. <laughs> oh, it was going so well until you called it my secco. There is no need to juice a hundred grapes, measure out ingredients, or sterilize a load of expensive equipment. Syrup. Sachet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Do you want to see what this is called? Oh no. It's called the funnel of love. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! A funnel of love. Fill carefully. <laughs> Using separate funnels, empty the syrup followed by the yeast sachet into the bottle and fill with 580 millilitres of tap water. That seems quite easy. Using separate funnels. I, I've only got one funnel. I'm gonna guess this is the yeast sachet. It just says hashtag taste victory. Oh, I didn't do the tap water. <laughs> Wait. Wait, I need my funnel of love. <laughs> How are you screwing this up? Anybody thought he's already drunk <laughs> the 750ml of Prosecco? Screw the black side of the bottle topper onto the bottle, put them both together upright in the box. I've taken the box apart trying to find the second <laughs> funnel of love. You're going to have to wait a second. I'm gonna... Oh, it's like some origami. Right, hang on a second. It is simple. Yeah, it's very simple. Even for Jamie. I'm not sure it's simple enough for Jamie though. That was actually really easy. That was that was easy. Store somewhere warm and snug for the water to turn into wine. After 12 full days, you'll be ready for stage two. See you in 12 days with Prosecco. All yours, Jay. Fits underneath the cloche. Off to a good start. First observation, is it the teaspoon and saucer that I'm supposed to be judging for pretensicity, or is it the what's on the, the, the little... It is the substance upon. Right. Can I also just mention that... I did little... put it on quite a pretentious <laughs> little bottle. That was my doing. Right, okay. Honey? Is it honey? Yes, darling. Did this, um... Oh, dear. Yeah, that's got like a honey-type consistency, hasn't it? By all means, have a taste. That's not the best honey I've ever had. This is Alexander Stern's Energy Honey. The Energy Honey blend has a rich colour with notes of orange, almond and heather for a unique taste that's perfect on crumpets in the morning. So we got you some delicious crumpets for you to enjoy in the morning. Served on a pretentious slate. I'd put butter on them too. I wouldn't just put honey straight onto a crumpet. You're lucky it's warm. It wasn't even warm for Jamie. You <laughs> <laughs> <It> got warm. <laughs> Oh no! That, that there, that is Winnie the Pooh yeah, yeah. In, a, in a plaid t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's good honey. But it's honey with words. In which case, how much would you pay for that energy honey? That jar there, 320 grams. I reckon that's probably 10 pounds. If that's more than a fiver, I'm going to throw it on the floor. What if it was 24 pounds 99? Why would it be $24.99? Making it 13 times more expensive than a branded honey that you might find in the supermarket. I mean, Winnie the Pooh, if he turned around to Christopher Robin and went, Ooh, and he's like, oh, I've got, I've just spent 25 quid on a pot of honey, Christopher Robin would slap him around the face. <laughs> so Jamie, pretentious or not? You're, you're paying 23 pounds for words, and you're paying two pounds for honey. Pretentious. I mean, honey as a product is not pretentious, but perhaps the branding around it is a, is a tad pretentious. Next up, spin around. I'm getting into the mood for these now. I'm prepared to be angry. When I saw it, I thought marmalade. Is it toasted somehow? 
Or do, do I just associate the smell of jam with toast? Maybe that's what it is. Tastes like rose. <laughs> <laughs> it's got good tongue, isn't it? Good, good palate there, unlike others. From first taste, it's really nice. This is rose petal jelly. This quintessential English jelly is as refined and as delicate as its name suggests. Surprisingly versatile, they use it to sweeten a whole number of things. For you, we have yoghurt and granola. Toast? <laughs> Red rose petals, 2% pectine and rose water. So sorry, they're making such a massive fuss about rose petal jelly and it's 2%. I like it. I actually liked it more from the, just from the spoon than in that, because you kind of lose it a little bit. So it might be better on toast or something. I've never had anything like that and I think it's really nicely flavoured, like quite delicate with rose. And the price for that jar there? I reckon, because they've then gone and put rose petals in the title, they've suddenly bumped it up a bit and that's probably six pounds. So eight pounds. Pretty good. Five forty-nine. I think it has the opportunity to be pretentious but I think because it's actually delicious, then it isn't. Just Rub some soap on your jam if you're that bothered about having rose petals. Oh, this is where Jamie and James are so different. <laughs> I quite like this one. <laughs> James is going to hate the idea of the con like the idea of that as much as me. You reckon? Considering that is two percent rose petal, and they make such a big fuss about it, that is as pretentious as anything. Spin it, Jamie. It is spun. Ah, oh, an unidentified powder. Yes, Moroccany, mm. like North African, like that kind of like spice blend. Turmeric. <laughs> Anything else you can get? Does it have cardamom in it? It's ginger, clove, fenugreek. No. <laughs> Cinnamon. Absolutely nailed it. Three out of three. It's also got a bit of black pepper in there. What it is, is a turmeric latte blend. Across the world, the healing qualities of turmeric are the stuff of legend. For centuries, it's been used to cure illness and ease pain as a natural alternative to modern chemical medicine. Enjoy. Be bliss. Be present. Be golden. Simply add half a teaspoon to your favourite hot milk. Cheers. Cheers. I like that. That is nice. Yeah, it's actually nice. Yeah, I'd probably drink that. And how much would you pay for that sachet? 100 grams, we reckon probably 40 cups. Eight pounds. 10 pounds, 10 pounds. Twice that at 20, 19 pounds 99. I, I, I guess I kind of get it. How much is that per serving? 50p. It's not terrible, is it? Like you can buy a matcha latte and it's like one pound a serving or something. The only comparison we could find, and it's difficult because there's nothing really quite like it, would be a branded vanilla latte powder. But this makes this product 20 times more expensive. I'd rather have a coffee. Um, pretentious or not? Oh, um, as a product, I don't think it's pretentious, but I, I feel like maybe it's a tiny bit overpriced. A tiny bit. Maybe a lot of bit overpriced. This is the kind of thing I imagine would be in Barry's stocking at Christmas. I do not imagine James or Jamie will like it. Even I wouldn't go this far. James, can I just ask a question first? Are you having a good day? Yeah. Cool. Good. Lift the cloche. Jesus Christ. It's so crazy. I hate the world. What is that? It's a chocolate avocado. Avocados really are the fruit of the moment, so it seems only fitting that we created our very own chocolate number for all you Avo lovers out there. Handmade from white Belgium chocolate and containing a scrumptious milk chocolate heart at the centre, this faux fruit is almost identical to the real thing in size and colour, and each avocado comes in two halves, so you don't even have to worry about chopping it open. But let me get it straight, there's no avocado in there. Why wouldn't you put avocado in it and make like avocado chocolate? Okay. Not great. More like a milky bar than a Belgian white chocolate delicious spa. There's an occasion for a milky bar. I'm not saying a milky bar's bad. They, they say that they've cut it in half, but they, they haven't. They've just made two separate ones. <laughs> I don't mind chocolate being in the shape of things, because, like, you know, a lot of chocolate, a lot of high-end chocolate, a lot of good chocolate is shaped like things. You know, like, people buy chocolate in the shape of shells. How much do Too you think much. How much is <laughs> too much? How much? Just how much? Too much. Just how much? Three pounds fifty. 
you're, you're, a, you're a little bit off, mate. It's uh, it's it's 11.99. Oh my goodness. You, you would never buy this for yourself. It's definitely a gift. Is that worth it? It doesn't look like an avocado. I I dislike this product. Pretentious or not? I would probably buy that for someone if I knew that they loved avocados. And the fact that I hate myself so much for saying that leads me to believe that this must be pretentious. Time has come, James. Have a taste. 14 days I've 14 been saying 14 whole yeah. days. This has been a commitment and we have flipped and added fizz and fermented and it's ready to drink. This is always my favourite part, apart from the drinking bit, is opening it because it's a bit it's a bit of drama. Why is everyone so nervous? It's, it's always fine. a bit of anticipation when you pop a cork. But this is tense. Oh, oh it's coming, it's coming! Oh, okay. there was a there was a oh, fizz. Was that it? Well, it, I mean, it fizzed, but it didn't exactly pop. Did I wait two weeks for that? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like Prosecco. Did we make Buck's fizz? I'm not, I'm not going to hold it against it because it's homemade, you know, like when, you, when you're making homemade alcohol, it never looks like production alcohol, does it? Also, it's unfiltered. That's still got the yeast in the bottle. Well, chin chin. It feels like it's a glass of Prosecco that's been out for a number of hours. It's lost its fizz. There's a tang to it, which isn't a pleasurable one. I don't think it's that nice. It's definitely grabbed my curiosity. How much do you think it's worth? Seven or eight pounds for just a standard bottle of Prosecco in a supermarket. We're supposed to have had fun in doing this, aren't we? And it's not just about drinking the Prosecco, it's about making the Prosecco, and therefore it's gonna cost too much money. 17 pounds and 99 pence. 1999. Oh. If it tasted great, I'd be I'd be fine with that. I'd be happy with that. For like giving it to someone as a present, it'd be good. The idea of a gift box my secco where you make your own. Thoughts? Pretentious or not? Pro no, not not really. I don't think the question is whether it's pretentious or not. I think it's whether it's novelty or not. And I think this is complete novelty. Which one did you think was the worst out of All the best. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> Comment down below and let us know. Okay, so let's talk about our brand new book. We've been making this over the last few months with you guys. It's called Bucket List, and this is for the recipes that you need to try before you die. All of the recipes come from different places. Some of them are from us, mm -hmm. some of them are from you, some of them are from our mates, celebrity chefs, Rachel Koo, Donal Skihan. Every single type of recipe from every single type of country that you've never even tried before, that you have to try before you... Stuff it. This is the best thing we have ever made. The photography, the food, the design, the whole feel of this book is the best example of Sorted yet. And just when you think the video's done, it's time for... That joke of the week. Yeah. yeah. Go on. <laughs> Why couldn't Harry Potter oh. tell the difference between his cooking pot and his best mate? Why, Jamie? Because they're both cauldron. They're both called rum. They're both called rum. <laughs> they're both. Oh no. <laughs> they're both called rum. As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends. So if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways that you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Just pour more water and the included yeast and syrup sachets into the bottle. What sachets? No. <laughs> <laughs>